The Car Rally is deemed to be one of the toughest rallies in the world. Stretching to hundreds of kilometers with uncertain terrain and climatic conditions, the Car Rally not only tests the metal of the machine but also the rider and the entire team. Each year, hundreds of aspiring rally drivers participate in the gruesome The Car Rally, but only a few manage to reach the top. In the series, we will be covering some of such legends of The Car Rally who have not only managed to grab the podium but also the heart of the viewers. Today, we will be discussing Stefan. Peter Hansel, a record winner at the Dakar Rally with 14 victories. Hi and welcome to Fervent Motorsports, one stop for all motorsports related updates. I am Tribhuvan and before starting the video, please like, share and subscribe to the Fervent Motorsports channel to receive all the latest updates from the world of motorsports. And do follow us on Instagram to check out our curated stories. Coming back to the story, in this video, I will tell you about Stefan, the legend of the Dakar Rally. Stefan Peter Hansel was attracted by pictures of the Dakar in 1980s with Cyril and Hubert devouring the Saharan dunes as an adolescent skating champion. He had no clue, however, that 40 years later, he would be sitting on a mountain of 14 titles and beginning a technical challenge that would change the world. His ability and foresight resulted in a lightning, a quick learning curve in a rally raid. Since he was a youngster, Stefan Peter Hansel has been driven by challenges. His father, a motocross racer, gave him his first motorcycle when he was 8 years old. The top prospect competes in his first championship with an enduro motorcycle at the age of 18 and wins it right away. Peter Hansel debuted in the Paris to Dakar rally in 1988 as a motorbike rider for Yamaha and went on to win the race in 1991, 92, 93, 95, 97 and 98. In 1999, he shifted to the automobile category and in 2003, he joined the Mitsubishi Works team. In 2004, 2005 and 2007, he won the events for the Japanese company and in 2013, he won his 11th Dakar rally victory driving an X-Raid prepped Mini Countryman, making him the most successful participant in the event's history. He was leading the Dakar in Penny Lumet stage in 2014 until he was controversially forced to let his teammate Nani Roma overtake and win, leaving him in the second position. He joined Peugeot in 2015 when the firm competed in the Dakar for the first time since 1990. In 2016 and 2017, he won his 12th and 13th Dakar races respectively. He was a two-time World Enduro Champion and raced in the Race of Champions in 2005 and 2006. Jean-Paul Cotter was his Dakar co-driver from 1999 until 2018. For the last 17 years, Stephanie Peter Hansel has shared his interest with his German wife, Andrea. She, like her spouse, has competed in off-road marathons on two and four wheels, including the Dakar Rally. With his wife as his co-driver, he also raced in the 2018 Rally Edu Maro in UTV category with a Yamaha YXZ. Since the 2018 Baja 500, Peter Hansel and Cyril Despers have switched co-drivers with David replacing Despers and Cotter replacing Peter Hansel. With Progo returned to the Dakar in 2015, a new challenge arose and in 2016, Peter was able to roast the lion for the first time since Eri Wettenen's victory with his 405. After a fierce struggle with teammate Sebastian Loeb, the season proceeded with 2008 to go for a 13th title. He he became the only driver to win in Africa, South America and now Asia when he added another victory to his resume in January. The collection may have led the world's greatest raider to retire. Audi, on the other hand, presented him with one of the most appealing tasks of his career, helping to design and manufacture the first electric vehicle capable of winning the Dakar. The initial step of this quest for the German firm consists of lining up three cars at the start in Jeddah on January 1st without knowing the full capacity of this RSQ e-tron. After working as a Batman for KTM and Toyota, Peter Hansel will be joined in the number 200 by Eudorog, who had the pleasure of winning his first Dakar as an elite co-driver last year. Stephanie Peter Hansel, a Frenchman, may have begun his racing career on a skateboard, then on a motorcycle, but it was behind the wheel of a vehicle that he truly found his calling. It's no surprise that Stephanie is the most successful driver in the Dakar rallies history. He understands just how to keep his cool when the heat is on thanks to his wealth of experience. With perplexing accuracy, the Frenchman understands exactly what he needs to do at every step and every stumbling block. His amazing discipline has repeatedly elevated him above his competition and more often than not, onto the podium throughout the years. 